It was at the Athi River mining warehouses that over 5,000 bags of DAP fertilizer were found. And just as it was in the May scandal, first impressions imply it was a good scheme turned bad. Agriculture Minister William Bruto was here to witness the incident firsthand. It is not right for these suppliers to go and rebag the fertilizer and sell it for a higher price. The government was granted 18,000 metric tons of fertilizer from Japan and sold the bags to 13 private companies at around 1,400 shillings per bag after competitive bidding. One of those companies was Supplies and Services, which bought over 50,000 bags. An invoice from the Athi River Mining shows that 10,000 of those bags were sold to them at a price of 2,200 shillings per bag. When this fertilizer ends up in private hands, in traders' hands and, uh, and, 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 and private persons, our control becomes uh, very limited. Indeed, Ruto says that one of the key conditions was that the fertilizer should not be rebranded at all. Supplies and Services Limited says the conditions are not explicit on the repackaging issue and therefore the same was not communicated to Athi River Mining when it purchased the fertilizer consignment. But Athi River Mining argues that they were blending the fertilizer to specific soils and crops, which begs the question, where are the blending machines? We think uh, they are changing the public because... Uh, it is expected that this fertilizer should sell at an average of 2,000 shillings. Mavuno in the market sells a lot uh, for a lot more. In its defense, the Athi River Mining says it bought the bags at the right price and the company was merely engaged in value addition to make the fertilizer compatible with Kenyan soils. The two lorries which were impounded are being held at the Athi River Police Station. With almost every passing day, it seems there'll be a mega scandal in the country to speak about. Now, where the corruption cases are on the increase, or maybe most of them are being highlighted nowadays, is a discussion for another day. However, the fight against graft must continue and the culprits be brought to book. Andrew Ocheng, Citizen Live at 9.